a boom in business and in protesters. That's what Frederick County expects to have next week when the G8 Summit comes to town. Business owners say they're ready for the crowds. Brad Bell live from Frederick tonight with more on the G8 Summit preps. Brad. Well, Allison, police are anticipating them as well. Originally, the G8 summit was going to be held in Chicago, and very large protests were planned. And then, suddenly, it was moved to the very private confines of Camp David. Protesters realized they weren't going to be able to get anywhere near the place. So this, Baker Park in downtown Frederick, is going to be protest central. When the G8 summit convenes next week at Camp David in the mountains above Thermont, participants will be completely out of view of the public. The two state park campgrounds nearby will be closed too, creating an even bigger buffer. Protesters have decided Frederick, 20 miles to the south, is the place for them. Because we have the largest um, area for restaurants, housing, you know, hotels, those type of things. But least Lieutenant Clark Pennington says officers have been monitoring Occupy Movement websites and Twitter traffic. They reveal plans to bring as many demonstrators as possible to downtown Frederick and Baker Park for a series of rallies starting next Friday near Frederick's iconic bell tower. Pennington says police will be ready and is suggesting the community get ready too. For your safety and everybody else's safety around you, take in loose items. Take in yard ornaments, take in sandwich boards if you're downtown, loose items. Anything that can be either stolen, um, used, or damaged. At least one organizer of anti-G8 events says everyone can relax because all will be peaceful. We're taking a look at the system that we have, which works for a small number of people and uh, works out horribly for a large majority of the people around the entire world. Residents we spoke to say the protesters are welcome. I think we're ready. I think we're prepared. I mean, I may not agree with their cause, but I certainly agree with everybody's right to protest. So. Well, the police are saying essentially they're looking at this like it's an upcoming weather event. They don't know exactly how many people are going to come, just like they wouldn't know how much snow is going to fall. So they have to prepare for every eventuality. They expect it to be peaceful. The protesters say essentially what you're going to see out here in this park where people normally play softball, tennis, and jog is drum circles and chanting. In Frederick, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Okay.